got a zombie on me, and you can't harm me. Yeah, who do you voodoo, bitch? Drink blood like a vampire without warning. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Stand up. Sam B got the thing that go bump in the night. Whoa. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Hide your kids, grab your wife, better get out of sight. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Let's go. What is up, dudes and dudettes? I don't discriminate. This is Trin Kill, and I am back, bitches. It's been a couple weeks since I've released a video, and half of that's due to the fact I was on vacation with my lovely wife down in North Carolina. If you like mountains and waterfalls, go check that shit out. It's actually pretty cool. The other half of the reason is I have been so bored to death with Black Ops. It's not funny. I can't even bring myself to really play it, let alone make a damn video off of it. So, I've been looking for something else to do. Luckily... Dead Island just came out, so I'm going to put together a series of videos, kind of going through the different builds for the different characters, you know, what you can do. Uh, some of these characters have basically one build that you have to use to even be viable in any possible way. And uh, today I'm going to be doing Jean May. She was the first character that I played through the game with, so uh, she's got the easiest accessibility because she's fresh on my mind. One thing you're going to want to notice is that all the characters have at least 100 health, except for her. She is the weakest character, but she has 100 stamina and everybody else has 90. So she's got uh, pros and cons. She's a very difficult player to play for your first character. So what I'm going to do here is start a new game from Chapter 18, which basically gives us 32 levels. So we can have as many points as we need to show you a build. Uh, by the time you hit 32 on an actual playthrough, you're pretty much through the game. If you go straight storyline, you probably beat the game by 26, 27, something like that. If you go straight through, uh, I'm sorry, if you don't go straight through and you just do side quests and search around for a little bit, you're going to easily be 34, 35 before you get through with it. So what I'm going to do is scoot up here. If not, there'll be guys shooting at me. And uh, we're going to go right into the skill trees, if I can press the right button. So she's obviously, just like every character, has got a Fury, Combat, and Survival tree. The first level, I always get the Fury ability of the person. So I'm going to get her Blood Rage ability. I just don't see any reason to not get it right off the bat. It's not like it's putting you that far behind. And you might as well, because you have a wasted ability if you don't get it. So I start out with Fury, then I move to Combat. We're going to get into Survival here in a little bit. Uh, but only about halfway through the build. So we're going to start with combat. You obviously have to get the entry-level blade fighter ability. And basically gives her decapitation maneuver so she can slice some zombies' heads off. We get down to tier 2. This is the badass tier. We're going to end up taking all these abilities here. But for starters, we're just going to go with flying strike. Simply because this is the baddest fucking move in the game. And I've played a little bit with all four characters. This is by far my favorite. What this does is when you take three points in it, you get a flying, or no, you don't get a flying attack, but when you jump and attack somebody in the air, you double your damage, which is ridiculous. Now, it sounds hard to do. I don't want to jump and stab and, you know, it just sounds hard to time, right? And it is. It's very annoying because by the time you land, you're looking at the ground. If you don't have like a katana or something long, you'll miss half your jump attacks. So, what I do is kind of strafe around an enemy and do jump attacks to the side. Or if you got an infected running at you, jump back and stab them. Don't forget that you can, you can dodge in different ways. And those dodges count as a jump because your feet are leaving the ground. So, use that instead of your jump and look down and weird land and you got thumbsticks and it's a pain in the ass. Uh, so... You know, jump, stab, turn, jump, stab. You can basically lead anything around. I'm getting shot, so I gotta hide. Um, you can basically lead anything around, and you're usually gonna one shot stuff. So that is amazing, I, I personally think. So we're gonna go back into our skills tree here. Now, like I said, we're gonna take these two, but not now. We're gonna take those later. Uh, we're also going to be taking backstab. This is another badass ability because we've got our flying strikes that give us a basically 100% extra attack damage when we're jumping. And now we've got backstab, which on top of that, if you're jumping and stabbing in the back, you get 100 
plus another 60% bonus. So if your original attack does 100 damage, your jumping attack takes it to 200, then you get another 60% bonus on top of that, so your attack does 320 damage instead of 100. So you're over tripling your damage in most cases. That is badass. Now you're going to use backstab mainly on slow enemies like your walkers, uh, your thugs are very slow, your rams are stupid, they're going to run past you and then they're going to yell and freak out a little bit and you can slice their back to pieces. But your your flying strikes and your backstabs are going to be the meat of how you play Jean Mei. So you cannot skip those. It is It is imperative that you get those. You obviously next have to get Sharp Expert, and if you notice, what we're trying to do is go through combat the combat tree as fast as possible so that we can get down to the Blade Master as soon as we can. So after we take Sharp Expert, you get your first stomp, which is a piece of shit. It's really slow, and it, it's usually going to get you in more trouble than it's going to get you out of. So your Flying Strikes and Backstabs are still going to be instant kills. Don't worry about stomping heads yet. Down to Tier 5, we've got Serrated Blade, Poisonous, and Telling Blows. Uh, the reason we're not going to be getting Deep Wounds, Serrated Blade, Poisonous, or Master Assassin is because, one, your poison damage and your stuff's going to be dying so fast that poison and bleeding damage aren't going to do you any good. So we're going to skip all of those. So we're going to go to Telling Blows. That gives us an extra 12% critical, cha uh, critical hit chance when we're using sharp objects. Uh, knives, katanas, anything that's a blade. Uh, so we go down. I'm going to take Pressure. Because, again, we've got Master Assassin that's bleeding and poison. We've got this stroke of luck. Up to this point, everything's dying instantly anyway, so an instant kill is not really that exciting. So we're going to take Pressure. What that does is gives you a 9% critical hit chance, or an extra 9% critical hit chance, on enemies that are below 50%. So... It's pretty cool against, again, the thugs and rams and things like that because they've got a lot of health. They're not going to be instant killing them. So you've got an extra chance to get a critical hit there, which makes it pretty neat. And finally, on to Blade Master. Now, at this point, you're level 16 or 17, depending on whether you choose to take the Fury move at the beginning or not. And you finally get your Insta Stomp, the Curb Stomp, if you will. And you will be using this to just smash fucking heads in it's amazing and it's the only attack that you will use other than backstabs and flying strikes those are the only three attacks you should be using with John May so once we max out the combat tree here we get all the way to the bottom we're gonna move over to survival we're gonna snag first aid even though you really don't want to because it's a crappy ass talent but you gotta get it to get down to vampire which is amazing so, for those of you who haven't jump attacked before, with Jean May, she's got so much stamina. Other players, it takes about 50% stamina. Her, it takes about 30% to jump and attack. So, with Vampire, once you jump and attack and then get that kill, you get a 30% stamina gain. So, your bar is going to fill right back up, and it's basically like a free attack, meaning you can just do whatever you want, which is awesome. This makes you a machine. It's amazing once you get to this point, which I think is level 21. So, then we come back to the combat tree, and you're going to take these three talents in whatever order you choose. Now, at this point, I've got so much stamina that I take Flawless Blade, because it gives you a little more damage. I like the extra damage. That's always good. Then I go in and take, um, I'm sorry, then I go in and take Maintenance, which increases my weapon durability. Once you get to around level 25, you're going to have guns, you're going to have modded weapons, and that stuff, uh, not guns so much, but modded weapons takes a lot of money to repair. So we're going to get Maintenance, and we're also going to get Effortless. You, again, you can choose those in whatever order you want. By by the time you pick these, your, your build is already fleshed out. So... At that point, we're level 30. We come over, get Grim Inspiration for 31, 32, and 33. And then we go straight down the line here. By the time you get Boiling Blood Rage, Flowing Strikes, and Burning Blood Rage, you're going to be at level 38. And by that time, you're well through the game and on to your uh, New Game Plus. So that is how I would build out a Jean May class if uh, I had my druthers. And uh, anything over here in the survival tree is just useless. You got your basic stuff. A lot of it's stamina related, which is good. But she's already got infinite stamina if all you're doing is jump attacking. Plus a 30% uh, 
reduction in sharp weapon stamina, so uh, our sharp sharp weapon stamina usage, I guess. So that's really irrelevant. You got extra XP and extra money things, and it just there's no need for those things. So this is the build as I like to see it. And if I were going to go through and start back over with her, this is exactly how I'd do it. Unfortunately, I've got a, some different things. I did go and get the insta-kill thing because I wasn't using the jump attack to its full potential. Now I know the error of my ways, and on my new game plus, I am just annihilating people. But regardless, I hope this helps you through your Jean May playthrough. And uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, you think I'm an idiot or I missed something, let me know. If you have used a build like this and you want to give me some props, that's cool too. I dig it either way. But um, until next time, I'm probably going to put together a Perna build. Should have that out shortly. And uh, it's going to be interesting. We're going from arguably the worst rage move to the best. Perna's rage move is amazing. So look for that here soon, and as always, guys, thanks for stopping by, and come check me out next time. See ya. I got a zombie on me, and you can't harm me. Yeah, who do you, who do, bitch? Drink blood like a vampire without warning. Who do you, who do, bitch? Stand up. Sam B got the thing that go bump in the night. Whoa. Who do you, who do, bitch? Hide your kids, grab your wife, better get out of sight. 